what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we did it we hit rank 22 um global 107 i know it's been a day or so since i posted but we were just collecting in diamond trying to get adjusted to everything and um kind of see what worked and uh now that i know i'm gonna show you guys my boy uh stoneheart and leg phenomenal phenomenal player should check out his youtube channel um it's just search stoneheart boom beach but doing phenomenal um right now i'm number eight in the task force 107 global um it was a grind it was a grind for 22 i probably had four different boss fights over the past day and a half um going back and forth um it's the base I didn't have TD, well, I'll show you right now. I didn't have uh, TD or the Sky Shield. I just got the Sky Shield earlier on um, the last chest, and uh, that helped us. But I didn't have the TD, which made me really slow. So we'll upgrade that now just to uh, help out. Plus, I had Bullet, and Bullet compared to Kavan on the 5 ER spread bases and the 6 ER spread bases. It's just not even um, a fair fight. The only thing that helped me is that I had tons of D. Now, while I'm saving up for sticks, I might grab that cheap GBE just because we hit 22. But next, we're definitely going 6. I'm um, going for the heavy choppers and the building health. This is the base. I was running the second Sky Shield when I got it, but about 20 minutes after I got the second Sky Shield, I switched to the SEMO to uh, pick off bomber players, and it actually really worked. Now, let me preface this. On my battles, I am taking my time in clearing the bases. There's no urgency in my game because I'm taking my time watching my opponent, watching them fizzle, not be able to finish the base, and then just doing my part to clear their base. So it's not going to be blazing fast times because I didn't have the TD and I didn't have Kavan on these spreads. I'm just clearing the base because I have faith in my base to make them fizzle. Any base with with RLs and uh, shock launchers or just RLs in general, I'm using three rifles, one medic, four bombers, bullet, energy drink, just so that he stays alive. Because if not, even with 100 troop help, it, it's hard to keep him alive, um, especially with the uh, 100 DVD. So just doing what we can, just getting ERs. Now you'll see me retreat in a bunch of these videos um, or in these hits on the way to 22. And that's when I realized that the opponent retreated. And so I'm doing etiquette and retreating instead of wasting everybody's time. Now on these without the RLs, the 6 ER bases, I'm running typically 2 six or three five with bullet and i'm clearing them as fast as i can um without the td and whatnot but i'm um, mainly just making sure i don't fizzle on any of the bases so that um if i can full clear nine times out of ten my opponent's gonna fizzle and so it's a different strategy. We're so used to base racing, and, and I'm so used to base racing, but even after last season when we everybody fizzled so much, you have to realize that you can also play fizzle metal, meta. So um, me having the shock launchers, shock mines, um, sniper towers, and then all the multi-nodes in the D, I can kind of post up with all my extra D and just force opponents to beat me. Like, you're going to have to beat me to win because I'm going to clear you. I might not be the fastest, especially without the TD and whatnot, but I'm going to clear you. And so it's just a different way of playing. Um, there's a bunch of different ways. Now, once I get to 6ER, 
or even if I decide to unlock Kavan next, even though I have Bullet, then it'll be different because I'll be base racing and I'll be trying to beat people on time and get fast because once I get 60 yards out there will be a fizzle. The, the ramp's just too big. Plus we have heavy choppers, so I doubt many people will be fizzling, if at all. But um, on the drop, I'm doing typically uh, one rifle and bullet and then three bombers. And then delaying a rifle left side later on and then delaying um, one rifle, one bomber to go right on these 5ER spread bases. Got to worry about uh, frank flanking RLs on um, these 5ER bases. Um, that's really what probably kills most of your bombers. If not, uh, the red mines. I actually haven't run into that many compact bases. Just a few here and there. I figured I'd run into more. But um, getting up into 22 or top of 21, 22, and 23. It's uh, either 5 ER or mainly 6 ER. With uh, not as much D. But they either have seekers or heavy choppers. But a lot of them don't have a hero. Now on the 6ER, I've been trying different ways to get faster times. Um, like sending 2-3 um, two, th two, up. And then delaying like 1-2 uh, on the bottom left um, to get those two. Just to try and see if I could uh, get faster times and I'm playing around with it. So once I have the TD, um, I can start hitting the bases faster. For my boss fight to 22, I actually beat uh, the global number one's mini that's in 23 right now. So this is uh, another 6ER. Um, I dropped a bullet and then three boats of bombers. Delayed the rifles after I took care of the machine gun and the flamethrower. Then we flared over. I accidentally flared too far initially. So we come back, clear the mines, split them. Wait for the flare to die down. And then we're going to drop um, one and one shock. So we kind of try and keep some of those rifles alive. And then we'll delay one and one um, on the left again to get into that little cubby hole area while the top does their thing. Because if you have bullet up top, you don't really have to worry about boom cannons or anything really hitting um, any of the troops. Um, you mainly just have to worry about mines. So focusing on the bottom part while they clear the top to try and get a faster time. But, I mean, it doesn't matter because they fizzled, so... A lot of Seeker players stuck in rank 20 or early diamond right now just because um, they're fizzling. Now, this guy had everything. Double Sky Shield, Shock Launchers, Shock Mines, um, RLs. And um, I like Bullet when I drop him to go over to the right side just so that that RL is hitting Bullet and not the Mortar and the RL hitting my Bomber. Um, so we just progress forward, clearing mines, and we delay drop. I'm also using the medics still. My um, medics are like tick three, so they're not really doing that much. Now, I do use drink just so I can keep them alive. Because I found even with taunt or shock knuckles, he's just not staying alive long enough to... Uh, validate even bringing him, really. I mean, he, he dies... I think he even dies here, but again, um, the person didn't finish my base, and so I think we uh, retreat after taking down the CR, just because I, I'm not trying to put somebody through um, having to uh, wait on me when I've already won. Oh wait, no, the guy did, uh, I think he got us down to maybe one, and so we did have to finish it, but uh, yeah, just going down and uh, getting the ER, um, 
Now, it's probably better if you don't run the SEMO on my base, but I thought it was a solid choice. Now, this guy had RL shock launchers, shock mines, everything at 6 ER, so I assumed that he skipped his hero to get here. But, uh, yeah, you don't really expect to see that. Now, I dropped everybody right side on this hit because it was my boss fight. I was streaking. I was at uh, 21.93. So I just wanted to make sure and finish the base while I let him try to do some crazy stuff to finish my base while I... Um, just took a more conservative approach. Now, tomorrow I'll drop a video with some crazy uh, Kavan hits or even some crazy bullet hits with TD. But for right now, with me having the defensive advantage, it didn't make sense to try and rush through the bases or try and get super fast times just for the sake of it. Um... I would much rather progress forward than to try and do crazy hits and fizzle occasionally doing it when I know people aren't going to finish my base. But, uh, yeah, so I will share some really cool hits tomorrow, and we'll go through that, hopefully start pushing to 23 and go to 60R. Just want to say, if you guys aren't subscribed, if you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, I would genuinely appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll post different hits, try and help you out. Y'all have a great day. Also, I'm still doing donations, uh, $20 per new subscriber. So if you subscribe, I see it, I donate. This month, we've been doing it uh, to armed forces members um, that have dealt with smoke inhalation and different uh, fire-based things. Um, so we're doing that and have raised a little over $1,400. It's been pretty amazing. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Y'all have a great day.